Don't be fooled by this young boy, because he will ruin human trafficking gang alone. Declan and his brother Brandon join the military, but Declan has experienced many horrible things during this military career. Now he is an army veteran, and has to visit a counselor for his nightmares. Declan writes a beautiful story about the war, and his counselor reads it. He is offended, when the counselor is surprised that he could write something meaningful. Also, Declan has had a lot of trouble with his sleep, and the therapy is not helping him at all. He is very angry at his veteran counselor, and at one point almost attacks him. It's obvious that Declan needs help, but he isn't getting any. Declan leaves, before telling his counselor that he shouldn't be working with other veterans. We are then introduced to Detective James Avery and his partner Brooke Baker. They meet in front of a building and talk about their upcoming operations. Brooke reveals that they have no strike team as there is another bomb threat in the city. Avery is disappointed that they have to wait so he finds special officers to help them. They all put on their vests and get guns, it's time for a police raid. They enter a giant warehouse and there they fight many criminals. There is a lot of shooting and they manage to defeat all the criminals, but the leader runs away. Avery chases after the leader while Brooke sees that the criminals have kidnapped many women. Brooke finds some of the women are still alive, but there is one victim who is dead. Avery chases the main gang leader on the roof and they get into a fight. After Avery gets really beaten up, he manages to get the upper hand, and the lead criminal falls down the building. When Brooke arrives, she wants to know if Avery pushed the criminal, but he doesn't answer clearly. It's obvious that the case has taken a toll on Avery, and he comments that he is tired of all the police work. We are then introduced to the rest of Declan's family. Roman is working as an ambulance driver, and he is engaged to Declan's sister called Mia. Mia meets Roman after a shift, and they go meet up with Brandon, his other brother. Brandon also has a family, and while he has trauma from the war, he wants to protect them. He and Roman have a good relationship, and their two families spend a lot of time having fun. We then see that Detective Avery has been hard at work, and the past few months he has been working on cases regarding trafficking women and kidnapping. He calls the victim's family to inform them about their daughter's death, and this seems to be the hardest part of the job for him. Vince and Frank are two criminals and work for a local drug kingpin called Max. Max is also working to create his own human trafficking empire and is very angry that the police keep attacking his bases of operations. Vince and Frank meet with Max over dinner and they inform him about their failed operations. Max is furious and demands that they get the operation under control and kill anyone who has information on their deals. In the meantime, we see Mia and Roman having fun over dinner with Brandon and his wife and they are all very close. Roman and Mia want to celebrate their last few months before they get married. While having fun at the dinner table, Brandon reveals that his dad almost adopted Mia when they were younger, as she had no family. Brandon then gives them a massive check as he wants them to have fun. They are stunned and don't want to accept the money, but Brandon convinces them to do so. Brandon also notes that Mia has always been family and he wants them to have a very great future. Declan arrives and joins the celebration, but he isn't in a very good mood. He starts to argue with Mia after she tells him he isn't spending enough time with the family. Declan tells her that she is too young and naive and doesn't know anything. Mia insults Declan that he has no idea what marriage really is. Declan is very rude to her as well, and it gets heated. Mia gets emotional and Roman has to talk with her. They both remember their childhood and how they loved spending time together. Roman isn't very interested in going to his bachelor party, but Mia wants him to have some fun before their marriage begins, tells him she is going out to the club with her friends, and suggests Roman to go out to celebrate his engagement with Brandon. Declan is very much traumatized by his war experience and because of that, his two marriages have failed. Brandon also has to worry about his own family, which makes his relationship with Declan a bit strained. While that is happening, we see that Avery is very much struggling with the law and his goal to capture and arrest Max. Every time he gets close, Max finds a way to escape. Avery can't get a hold of solid evidence, and he also feels that the police are too corrupt to work with him. Brandon and Roman go to nightclub, while Mia goes to celebrate with her friends in another giant one. Roman and Brandon have a lot of fun, but as the night goes on, Roman starts to get worried about Mia. We see that Mia is having a great time at the party, but soon their celebration gets interrupted when the criminals Vince and Frank join the party. 
Both of them want to flirt with Mia, but she refuses their advances. After Frank tries to seduce her, Mia punches him and demands that he leave her alone. And they are now pissed off at Mia and her friends. Mia decides to leave the club and tries to call Roman, but Vince and Frank kidnap her. She is put in a white van and drive off. And they both think that this will be a great score for their boss and organization. Roman is now very worried about Mia, and he tries to track her phone. Brandon helps him, but soon they realize that something is wrong. He then calls Declan for help because he has vast military experience and is an expert in combat. Brandon also has a lot of combat experience, so they can work together. It also seems that Mia has left a message to Roman right before she was kidnapped. Declan arrives and he is a man on the mission. He is very focused and manages to track down the van that has kidnapped Mia. Declan first calls the police and demands that they arrive. He then attacks the van that is transporting several girls. They all keep the driver as a hostage and Declan orders Roman to kill the driver if he moves. Declan then enters a home that has many women inside. He is a very skilled fighter and he manages to kill several of the kidnappers in the house. While Declan kills the kidnappers and saves the woman in the house, Mia is nowhere to be found. Because of their actions, the three brothers get in trouble with the law. All three of them are arrested, and now they have to explain what is happening. So Declan goes to talk with Avery. Avery promises to find Mia, but he also warns Declan that he can't get involved anymore. Avery thinks that the brothers will get arrested, or worse, they could get killed if they keep chasing after Mia. Declan doesn't want to listen to Avery, and he thinks they need to act. The brothers return home, and now Roman is totally desperate. He is in tears as he fears that Mia might get killed soon, as the police are moving too slow. Declan decides that they must go to war and get back Mia. Brandon is at first hesitant as he has a family, and the police almost arrested them once before. Declan thinks that the police aren't effective and that they must join together and find the kidnappers. Roman doesn't care what will happen to him, he just needs help getting Mia back and he will do anything that Declan needs. They find army vests and special guns, and Declan wants to approach this as a military operation. While that is happening, we see that Frank and Vince are now in trouble with Max. He is furious at them for kidnapping kidnapping local girls, as this will for sure attract attention from the police. Max almost kills them both, but they beg to be forgiven. Max wants them to bring all the girls to his specific warehouse. And then he will transport all the girls to Las Vegas, that way they can escape the police and sell the girls. It's finally time for the operation, and the brothers invade the warehouse where Max is keeping the girls. Declan and his brother are brutal fighters, and they kill many kidnappers, while doing their military-style operation in the warehouse. Soon they manage to find and rescue not only Mia, but many of the kidnapped girls who were trapped there. Finally they manage to escape with all the girls, and Roman is reunited with his love Mia. They all return home, and they are happy. Mia is still a bit shaken up from the experience, but she feels safe. All the brothers are tired, and Brandon was injured in the fight, but he seems to be okay. Suddenly, their home gets attacked, when Max sends his men after the brothers. Heavy gun fire pierces the windows and walls of the home, and the brothers must defend themselves. In the shooting, Brandon gets shot, and dies. Declan uses his special army tactics and skills to survive, and kill all the attackers. Max also was at the scene firing his gun, and he gets shot in the shoulder by Declan, and then runs away. Declan finds his brother Brendan, who is now dead. He is heartbroken, and Roman is as well. After a while, Declan and Roman both get arrested by the police and Max is totally free. Avery is now furious that there isn't enough evidence against Max as he wants to help the brothers. And he realizes that the police aren't efficient and that the law is slowing him down. Then decides that he can no longer be a police detective. He gives back his badge and leaves the station. Then we see Max is panicking as he realizes that his entire operation is now in trouble. Max realizes that he isn't alone and as he turns around, Avery shots him in the head. Avery then walks away, finally he has gotten his revenge, and justice has been served. We see both Roman and Declan got out of prison, and they have managed to live a normal life with a new family member. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.